Hi, you know, and Miss Smart here. I'm going to take you through some of the content that you'll be covering in year 10 on the Cambridge National Sports Studies course. You will know that you have completed the practical and the outdoor education unit during year nine. Uh, one of those might not be as complete as the other, depending on where you got to before we hit lockdown. But you'll all be starting on unit RO51, which is contemporary issues in sport. Now, this is an exam based unit. So the exam will be one hour long at the end and it will be out of 60 marks. The questions will come in the format of multiple choice, short answer, and there'll also be one extended answer on the paper. One extended answer question. There are four learning outcomes. Learning outcome one is the one that you're going to be focusing on from September. So to understand the issues which affect participation in sport, and that is the knowledge organiser that I've got on the screen. And I'm hopefully going to be able to give you some ideas um, to help you use the knowledge organiser at home. So if we start in the top left hand corner, section A, user groups. Now you might be sitting there thinking, what is a user group? Well, this is a set of people who have things in common, similar interests, similar concerns. There are nine user groups that you need to know. So you need to test yourself, get someone else to test you. Can you remember the full nine by the time you come back in September? Think about what you know about these groups already. And think about whether different users can belong to more than one user group or do they just get put into one? Then we have section B, barriers affecting participation. What is a barrier? Can you give examples? Now, there are plenty of examples on screen and these are the ones that you're going to need to know. Can you relate them specifically to a user group? So, for example, let's take lack of disposable income. May not be able to afford to join a sports activity. So, firstly, link it to a user group. And then think why. Why might they not be able to afford it? What is stopping them? See how many of those you can do that for. Maybe write a summary of which barriers affect which user groups. And also think about can these barriers be applicable to more than one user group? Then down in the bottom left, we have section C. Let's just move my lovely face up here. There we go. Section C is all about solutions. Solutions to the oh sorry to the barriers we've mentioned in section B. There are some general examples here. Again, can you make them sport specific or user group specific? So, for example, increase media coverage for user group. How would you do that? Okay, how would you do that in a particular sport? How would you do it for a particular user group? Now, I've included a little video here, um, which gives you some information about disability sport and the sorts of things that have been put in place to increase provision and things like that. So that might be a good starting point and it might give you some ideas um, with your solutions. Then we have section D. What makes a sport so popular? All right. So what factors impact the popularity of a sport? Now, the key words are there in blue. Do you know what they mean? Can you define them? Can you relate them specifically to sport? All right, so again, pick a sport of your choice. Is it popular? Why is it popular? Which of these things make it popular? Okay. Can you research trends? So what sports in the UK are popular right now? Now, I know a lot of you would jump to football. So if we take football, then think, why is it so popular? Now, we know that the media play a big part. All right. Those of you that have got Sky know how many sports channels there are. There's um, football always on the news. All right. So that helps with the popularity. And finally, can you find any growing or emerging sports in the UK? Now, the example that I would give is Frisbee. 
Frisbee used to be an activity that you would do in the garden, that you would do in the park, that you would do when you were camping. Okay. And year after year, it's gradually grown. And now you can join ultimate Frisbee teams. You can play in competitions. All right. So it's gradually becoming more popular. So hopefully that gives you some ideas. Um, if you have any questions, do direct them to the PE inbox and one of us will get back to you as soon as we can. Um, but yeah, other than that, enjoy and thank you very much.